friends uh, very good morning to all of you in the last session we discussed about uh, the types of power diodes we studied about uh, general purpose diodes we studied about uh, fast recovery diodes we also studied about scott key diodes so these diodes is studied in the previous session in the today's session we'll be learning about uh, the free wheeling diode what is the need of free wheeling diode working of the free wheeling diode and the peripheral effects in the power electronic system or the devices let's start with the free wheeling diode what is free wheeling diode what is the need of free wheeling diode dear students free wheeling diode is also called as flyback diode so this is almost similar to the semiconductor diode or the pn junction diode which is studied in the previous classes as you know the semiconductor diode or the pn junction diode which conducts in the forward condition and which does not conduct which is turned off in the reverse bias condition so next thing is that how do we define the free wheeling diode or the flyback what is flyback so flyback is basically an abrupt increase in the voltage across the inductive load so when the current through the circuit show a reduction see flyback is a sudden increase in the voltage across the inductive load when the current through the circuit reduces so this is what uh, the flyback so next thing what is the need of free wheeling diode or flyback diode means why the free wheeling diode is required i told you in the previous classes free wheeling diode is connected across the load of any circuit to avoid the damages happened in the circuit or avoid the damages to be happened in the circuit so here so you are understanding you are learning so why the free wheeling diode is required what is the need of the free wheeling diode see you are observing the two circuit one circuit where the switch is closed and in other circuit the switch is open so once the switch gets closed due to the applied external potential the diode in the circuit gets forward biased you know when the switch is closed switch is closed when the switch is closed when the positive terminal of the battery connected to the anode negative connected to cathode means diode become forward biased when the diode become forward biased the current start flowing through the load horn we know that an inductor is basically a conductive loop of the wire see inductor resistor and capacitors are the passive components or the passive elements so resistor which resists the flow of current but inductor stores energy in the electromagnetic field let us see what happens when the current flowing through the load from the flowing through the inductor see when the current flowing through the inductor the inductor produces a magnetic field so that inductor which holds energy in the form of an electromagnetic field see which means the inductor stores energy in the electromagnetic field so in the next uh, the second circuit in the uh, once again in the closed switch condition the flow of current through the inductor leads to generation of the magnetic field causing it to get fully charged this i told you already so when the current flowing through the inductor which generates the magnetic field which generates the magnetic field and uh, it becomes fully charged and that can be stored in the in the form of an electromagnetic field but when the switch is opened refer to the circuit 2 the switch is opened that will lead to the interruption in the flow of current through the circuit means current does not flow there is no conduction resultantly that will cause the collapsing of the earlier generated field so when the switch is opened 
there is an interruption in the flow of current through the circuit this you know already the what it is what is the result of that resultantly that will cause collapsing the the electromagnetic field which generated earlier due to the current flowing through the inductor according to lenz law this field gets sets a current in the circuit in the opposite direction thereby leading to the production of the negative potential across the inductor and this potential negative potential no down negative potential which is developed across the inductor that is called as flyback voltage and this flyback voltage across the inductor is significant greater value than actually applied potential by the external source so whatever the the negative potential which is developed across the inductor we call it as flyback voltage that voltage is uh, always greater than the actually applied potential from the external source or the battery so that lead, this leads to a flow of i current through the circuit resultantly causing a high reverse voltage to set up across the switch as well as the diode so when the high reverse voltage which uh, set up across the switch as well as the diode that leads to the device gets damaged that leads to the damaging of the device in circuit so what is it voltage spikes the voltage spikes across uh, the inductor as v is equal to l into di by dt you know so what is di by dt that is the rate of change of the current flowing through here and uh, what is the what is the need of free wheeling diode you come to understand here you come to know what is the purpose of uh, connecting the free wheeling diode across the circuit the free wheeling diode is connected across the inductor to avoid the damage in circuit to avoid the excessive reverse voltage developed across the inductor so thereby which protecting the circuit so the need of the free wheeling diode is to um, protect the circuit from the um, high negative potential so next thing is that what is the working of the free wheeling diode so let us understand so how the free wheeling diode or the flyback diode which works uh, let's see so you are observing the two figures here so first circuit uh, uh, with the um, switch is uh, closed and uh, free wheeling diode is connected across uh, uh, the load here and in second circuit uh, the free wheeling diode so free wheeling diode which is uh, um, which is shown which is connected across the uh, the load and the diode becomes uh, short circuited when it is forward biased so refer to the figure so you understood the free wheeling diode is connected directly across the inductor so what is the presence of the fly weak flyback diode the presence of this flyback diode which gives an alternative path to the current produced due to the flyback voltage at the inductor flyback voltage means what it is the negative potential which developed across the inductor because of this so the alternative path to the current has created under normal operating condition when the switch is closed the external potential reverse biases the free wheeling diode present in circuit and so that free wheeling diode plays no such crucial role means free wheeling diode is not playing the role important role under the normal or the steady state conditions so this is uh, so how the free wheeling diode works uh, in the closed switch condition let us understand so how the free wheeling diode works in the open circuit condition so the figure shows uh, the switch is open circuited and uh, when the switch is open circuited so what happens no current flows uh, no current flows means what uh, diode becomes reverse biased when the diode becomes reverse biased it becomes open circuited which is as shown in the figure 2 see let us understand how the free wheeling diode works um needs uh, when the switch is open circuited in the presence of the free wheeling diode the switch is opened the voltage across the inductor forward biases the free wheeling diode so when the voltage across the inductor forward biases the free wheeling diode then due to small resistivity offered by the free wheeling diode current in the open switch condition now flows through the part of the circuit comprising of the free wheeling diode see here the what is that um, 
the voltage across the inductor which forward bias the free wheeling diode so that current which is flowing through the free wheeling diode and the open switch condition and uh, the this resultant leads to the protection of the switching device see look here so in this case the switch is getting protected so how it is protected the switch is open circuited because of the voltage developed across the inductor the current flowing through the free wheeling diode and this so this free wheeling diode which protects the circuit from the damage last uh, last thing is peripheral effects see let us uh, see the block diagram of the uh, power electronic system you know the what are the uh, important blocks of the power electronic system so we have the input filter we have the power converter and the output filter the power converter which converts the power in one form to the another form which is suitable to run the load see during switching of the power semiconductor devices we are observing so many harmonics and the distortions the distortion is nothing but the peripheral effects let us um, try to understand what's the peripheral effects the power converter operations are based mainly on the switching of the power semiconductor devices dear students i told you already that so the power electronic system or the power converter operations mainly based switching of the power semiconductor devices we have the um, number of uh, uh, we have many power semiconductor devices uh, like uh, thyristor scr gto mosfet uh, then uh, uh, we have the mct triac uh, like that so we have different uh, uh, the power semiconductor devices these uh, switching of these devices uh, can convert the power from one form to another form as a result due to continuous and periodic repetitive turn on and turn off process of the switching devices so what happens uh, you are using the power semiconductor devices uh, so if you turn on and turn off the uh, the switching devices uh, continuously what happened the power converts into current and voltage harmonics into the sub sub supply system and uh, which also introduces uh, the harmonics on the output of the converters these induced harmonics voltage and the current harmonics can cause the problems of the distortions of the output voltage and harmonic generations into supply system and interference with the communication and signaling circuit which affects on the communication and all signaling circuits it is uh, normally necessary to introduce filters on the input side and output side of the power converter system so as to reduce the harmonic level of, to an acceptable magnitude dear students sir uh, so go back to the figure and understand what is the need of the filters uh, which is uh, uh, designed or uh, um, located at the input and output side of the power electronic system see the purpose of uh, using the filters at the input side and output side is to reduce the harmonic level reduce the voltage and the current harmonic levels to an acceptable magnitude so this uh, the figure also the figure shows the black diagram of the generalized power converter with filters added as i told you already and uh, this is about the peripheral effects let us uh, see further the input and output quantities of the power converters could be either ac or dc your input can be either ac or dc so so factors such as harmonic distortion total harmonic distortion these are the factors of the peripheral effects total harmonic distortion tsd displacement factor harmonic factor hf the input power factor ipf these are the measures of the quality of the waveforms to determine these factors it is required to find harmonic content of the waveforms to evaluate the performance of a converter the input and output voltage currents voltages or currents of a converter are expressed in the fourier series the quality of the power converter is judged by the quality of its voltage and current waveform dear students this peripheral effects is very very important for examination point of view you must write the block diagram which consisting of the power converter and the filters on both the sides of the power converter and the explanation is very much required and you should express the total harmonic distortion and other distortions so when you are writing this peripheral effects okay thank you for watching this